So here we have Kane. Kane is actually, this is his first week of training and we've been working on his sit and downs. He's a little damp because he's been having access to a kiddie pool that he loves to get in and kind of splash around, which is also a really great treat. So for the sit, we're just taking a treat, gonna hold it above his head, tell him sit, good boy. Good job, give him that treat and praise. Good job, take that treat, hold it above his head, tell him sit. Good boy, very food motivated, huh? Good job, good job. We're also gonna use some praise because down the road we won't want him to only work for treats. Uh -uh. When he jumps, gonna kind of give him a little bit of a nudge. Not gonna feed into any of that behavior. Uh -uh. Once he comes down on the ground, I'm gonna reward the calmness. There we go. So once all four feet are on the ground, he gets a reward for that. The biggest thing you don't wanna do is use your hands to push him down because you're giving him the satisfaction of why he's jumping. So we'll do it again. You're gonna take that treat, tell him sit, good boy, good job. Good job. And then finish up that treat. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, good boy, good job. So I'll do one more sit. Good job. And then what we're gonna do is a down. So I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna take that treat and I'm gonna put it right down between his front feet and wait till he goes nice, flat, and relaxed. Down, good boy, and praise that. Good job, so we'll do that one again. Take it right down by his front feet. Down, good boy. Wait until that body goes nice down and flat and relaxed. And we don't want his feet up, uh-uh, uh-uh. Good job, oh, wait for it, wait for it. Good job, good boy, rewarding that calm behavior. Um, the reason we wait till he goes nice, flat and relaxed is we just don't want to reward any of that like belly rub behavior or anything because down is a structured com command or position, uh-uh. This is just some excitement. Puppy antics, like I said, he was just swimming, so he was having some fun. Down, good boy. So just like with the down, how I want him nice, flat, and relaxed in that down structure, down position, I want to do the same with a sit. So what I mean by that is, when I put him in the sit, wait till that butt hits the ground, and make sure those front feet are on the ground as well. Because if he's pawing and batting at me, I don't want to reward that behavior. I want a nice, calm sit. Good job. Good job. Using positive marker words like yes, good, good boy, sit, good. Down the road, sit's gonna correspond with this hand gesture, down will correspond with this hand gesture, but for now, we're just using that lure phase to our advantage, sit. Which just means we're using a treat to entice him to do these things. Down, good job. So let's be down from a stand. Get him to walk again. Down, good boy. Oops, he dropped his treat. again sit uh -uh. Uh -uh. so I don't want him to think it's okay to get my hand so that's just a puppy thing right there we go so putting that treat between my finger as well as the palm of, or the body of my hand this way he doesn't get my skin and he only learns to take the treat there you go and that's how you work through that puppy like nipping behavior which is very normal sit good job make sure he's only nibbling on that treat and then I'm gonna take that other treat and put him in it down so as always, we're gonna sit here. He's gonna get some praise. We always end on a sit and a down or a sit, whatever is his strongest command. And then with some praise, just to make sure that his last memory is a positive one. Cause we want it to be that he looks forward to training. He enjoys doing so. And then like I said, last memory of training is a good one. So this is Kane in his first week of training, working on his sit and downs. Good job, good job. Good job.